the database, level 109, the neon hospital, survival difficulty, class 2, unsafe, secure, low entity count, once a busy hospital, now a scarcely populated level of the back rooms. We, the doctors, are here to help you. Welcome to level 109. Image caption, the only known image of level 109. Description, level 109 is an infinite array of hospital corridors with different lengths. Singular instances of some corridors have been known to stretch for several miles before reaching another corridor. During a set of experiments, wanderers used lasers to measure the distance between different sets of corridor ends. The results showed that the average length of a level 109 corridor is around 2.9 miles, roughly 4.6 kilometers. These corridors contain numerous different doors, which all lack labeling, which makes it so that no one could know for sure what lies behind a certain door. Such doors will appear in large quantities down every corridor, always seemingly leading to a different room. Upon opening a door, a wanderer will find a room resembling a specific hospital department. Please read the files below for more specific information on these rooms. Often, these rooms are referred to as quote-unquote auditoriums, further size averaging the size of an auditorium. Unlike the corridors, auditoriums have a fixed length and do not stretch onwards for miles on end. They are much wider than the corridors, but their length from the entrance door to the opposing wall is considerably shorter. The previously described laser test was applied to a large amount of auditoriums, and their average area was estimated to be around 9,700 feet squared, roughly 900 meters squared. The auditoriums are considered particularly dangerous due to the fact that they oftentimes house the entities which inhabit level 109. Not all entities live in their own auditoriums, as some of them decide to roam the hallways of level 109 instead. This occurs when a wanderer leaves a door to an auditorium open, as the entities present in the level cannot open the doors by themselves. Because of this, the Meg has declared it to be of great importance that wanderers keep the doors closed at all costs, to make traversing level 109 safer for all wanderers in the back rooms. Apart from entities, one can also find valuable medical resources inside the auditoriums, which would be found inside normal hospitals. Other than that, almond water can also be found inside the rooms, albeit in a sparser quantity. Gathering these resources is highly dangerous, however, because, as previously mentioned, several entities live inside these auditoriums. Article has been updated. Would you like to view the new file? Yes. Loading auditoriums.pdf Meg. Survey of level 109 auditoriums list. Room name. Supply room. Brief description. A room which contains numerous supplies for one's survival. These can range from numerous valuable medical supplies to other resources like almond water. Safety level. Relatively safe. Room name. Operating theater. Brief description. Standard facility where surgeries would normally take place. One may find abandoned and occupied ones. The abandoned ones will not be labeled and won't have any MEG volunteers guarding it, usually containing little to no resources aside from a few medical tools. The occupied rooms will be guarded by MEG volunteers and may not be entered, for the environment is aseptic and should not be disturbed. Safety level, relatively safe. Room name, ICU. Brief description, Standard Intensive Care Unit, containing most of the equipment necessary for providing proper care to wanderers who are severely injured. Just like the operating theater, one may find occupied and abandoned rooms. The abandoned rooms tend to be very dangerous, as entities appear to be much more violent. Safety level, relatively unsafe. Room name, pharmacy, brief description, Standard Pharmacy Department. 
where all medicine is prepared. These rooms usually contain small amounts of valuable medicine, but are usually infested with entities. Rel safety level, relatively unsafe. Room name, biohazard room. Brief description, contaminated rooms which pose a severe threat to one's health. These rooms have been exposed to large quantities of Entity 19, the disease, and are unfit for life due to the highly dangerous and toxic environment. Safety level, unfit for life. Entities, thus far, several different entities which are native to the back rooms as a whole have been observed in level 109, such as skin stealers, hounds, clumps, death moths, and the disease. The amount of entities which are present in a single room can vary from a few, three to ten, entities to dozens, if not hundreds of them, which, albeit rare, has been noticed a handful of times. Bases, outposts, and communities. As of now, only one community has been formally established in level 109. The doctors consists of a handful of people who either used to be doctors in the front rooms or are being taught medical basics by said doctors, have taken numerous rooms from the hands of the entities of level 109 and repurposed them as medical outposts. Very friendly and offer help and supplies to all wanderers that come across them. Protected by Meg volunteers who also route any wanderers to the correct rooms. Unfortunately, many wanderers are unable to find the doctors, mainly due to the sheer size of level 109. But one should never give up trying should they end up here. Entrances and Exits Entrances One can enter level 109 by noclipping through a glitched wall in a hospital of level 11, the Endless City. Wanderers may also enter this level by getting severely injured to the point of getting knocked out in level 14, Sweet Dreams. They will wake up inside of level 109 upon regaining consciousness. This is really rare, however, with only two confirmed cases so far. Speculation is still ongoing as to why this happens. Exits Entering any of the doors labeled with an exit sign in level 109's corridors leads to level 114, Sweet Dreams.